How many times have you been told that you were loved? How many times have you been told I love you by a person who walked the opposite direction, who maybe betrayed your trust or who did something that you didn't believe in? There are so many songs that point to this idea of, of heartbreak. Something that we're reminded in Psalm 118 is that the Lord's love, the God of the universe who chose you, who said that you were made in his image and created for a purpose, his love endures forever. So at the time you were made, to the time when you felt the happiest, and even longer. It says in Psalm 118, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I called to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Those aren't light words. I mean, the idea that his love is forever in every circumstance before we even knew it, before we even accepted his love, he was loving us. And sometimes I think we frame our idea of love based on how other people have loved us or how we have loved other people. And even though that's good, we have to expand our horizons a little bit more, and by a little I mean a lot, to see that God's love is so much bigger than the scope and the sum of all of the flaws and invaluable ways that people have chosen to love us. Um, and choosing to love like Jesus is the best way that I can think to accept the love of Psalm 118 and also try to embody Jesus in all of the ways that he has loved us throughout our lives.